The District 27 tournament was about more than just winning for the Camden Catholic wrestling team. The Irish were seeking redemption after an effort in the dual match season that they didn't feel was up to par. And by the time Martin Cosgrove put the finishing touches on the 215 pound title with a pin in Shawnee's Jackson Harris in the final bout of the day, they felt like they had it. Shawnee beat Camden Catholic on February 2nd for the first time in nine years, but in the championship round at the Districts, the Renegades went 0 for 5. They were ready for this, um, and they, they, wanted to, they wanted to win this, and you know, uh, that week after Shawnee, uh, you know, it, 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 was, it was tough to be in that room, and it wasn't me, it was them guys. Those guys, you know, decided that they were going to kick it up a notch, um, and they did. They got some vengeance, basically. Jackson Young bested Shawnee's Brett Balza in 6-1 for the title at 120 pounds. Chase Casey pinned Anthony Duarte of Shawnee for the title at 144. But the crown jewel was the 126-pound bout in which Wayne Roll avenged a 7-1 loss three weeks ago by taking down Shawnee's Nick Catone in overtime to earn an 8-6 decision. Just staying low, staying in my stance and continuing to wrestle. You know, he beat me earlier this year and I just kept applying pressure and he broke. I didn't even know I had the takedown. I just heard everyone cheering and I was like just still wrestling. I just kept going. He took me down first and I just kept pushing the pace and trying to win the match. The Irish weren't just tough on Shawnee. A late takedown propelled them at heavyweight too, as Jonathan Graham won a 3-1 decision from Aiden Geisenheimer of Cherokee. I hit a high crotch. I was just like, I saw the opening, I took it. And then, you know, in my in, like in my head at that moment, I was like, should I go double leg? But I was like, no, because I uh, learned my lesson the last time I lost to him, that double legs don't really work on him because he's got really big legs. So just went for a single and got my two. Lenape wasn't exempt either. Jarius Clark won the 165 pound crown with a tech fall over the Indians' Ricky Snyder. Just being able to counter his attacks, um, just keeping my feet moving, um, always getting on attack. Uh, like years past, I've been winning, but I haven't been like great on my feet. So now, like, I'm trying to get uh, attacked more, and I've been attacked more instead of defending, and I, it's been working out for me. I've been wrestling amazing. The Lenape District didn't go without its highlights, though. Cherokee's Jason Brown won the 138 pound title with a 3 1 decision over Chris Aarons of Shawnee. Two of the Chiefs' three titles came from its brother act. Evan Brown won his second district title with a 14-2 major decision over Ty Smith of Lenape in the 157-pound final. Jake Hastings broke through at 132 with a decision over Ryan Shimp of Cherry Hill West for one of Shawnee's two wins. Lenape also had two. Trey Friedman fell behind 9-1 in the first period of the 113-pound final, then pinned Camden Catholic's Angelo DePaul to earn the bracket sheet. Yeah, I, I've heard that from a lot of coaches that he was going to get gassed by the second period, and I knew I had the gas thing, so I was just going to go out there and try to finish him off. I was just getting the, my high crotch, and I knew he was also a thrower, so... He was going for the elevator, and I knew that he wasn't going to get that. So I was just going to flatten out and put him on his back. Lenape came up big again at 190 when Kevin Langley pinned Camden Catholic's Will McCleary for the crown. I was able to bounce back, roll around a little bit, not let up too many points. Not quite sure, just got, just got the takedown, was able to start working my moves on the ground, what I worked on in practice, and I was just able to get the job done. Uh, I thought we did well. I was, um, you know, my goal was five through two to three champs and we ended up with two champs and six through so um, that's a good day for us and taking third I, I really don't I'm not even sure the last time we did that so pretty pleased pretty pleased with how the guys did from the Alta Bartolomeo Gymnasium at Cherry Hill High School East this is John Lewis